You're taking a break today? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Maybe I should. I will too then. I will too. You're in the guild? I didn't know you were in the guild on this account. <laughs> Sorry, Satomi. Hey. Why did I think you weren't? Oh, maybe it's because I'm so used to you being on your other character. Never mind. Um, I need more food. What do you need for food? <laughs> what do you need for food, Satomi? I need to do these. Let's do these. A knight. Let's get these. I'm trying to level my miner. We're gonna level my miner just for a little bit today. Just a little bit. <sighs> I miss playing this game. It's so relaxed and fun. It is. It is. Let's hope you can get a good night's sleep tonight. Yeah, that's another thing. I need a good night's sleep tonight. Darn fire alarm. Gosh darn it. Let's see, what do I need? I need a knight. Is that here? Yeah, it is. A lolafell. Hi, time. <laughs> I am a lolafell. Are you a lolafell in Final Fantasy XIV? Good morning, soon. Hello. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it was funny. You liked it, Specky? Damn, that's the second person that said they really liked the de new Deadpool movie. Maybe I should go see it. Um, always lurking. That's fine. <laughs> What's a good starter con Korean drama? Um. Hmm. What's a good starter? Maybe Lovely Runner, and that's coming out really soon. I think that's a good Korean drama to watch. Do that one. Lovely Runner is coming out soon. Hotel Del Luna, The Glory. No, 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 no. We have to. No, 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 no. We have no, not The Glory. Um, no, no. That one's too intense. Um, I would say that's like your third one or fifth one when you want like not just romance. No, 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 no. no. Don't do The Glory. Um, that one's too crazy. Um, maybe like fifth one. That's your fifth one. First one, Lovely Runner. And then let's also throw in a historical one. So, The King's Affection will be the second one. And then the third one you're gonna watch is I'm gonna I'm gonna do new ones, right? I'm gonna do new ones because then you can like then you can be like, oh, I like this because this is like the newer one, and then I can give you some solid classics. I don't know if you would call them class classics, but I can give you some solid classics after that. So yeah, Lovely Runner number one. That was the newest, and it's so cute. Um, my, is it my king's affection or the king's affection? Hold, please. I need a list of all the Korean dramas I've watched, right? I'm blanking. But that one's like a historical one. So you can see if you like the like normal, like modern ones, or do you like the Joseon, they're called Joseon era ones. Or historical ones, but The King's Affection, that one's a really good one. Oh, Extraordinary Attorney Woo! That one's a really good, no, that one's number one. That one, yes, that one. That one should be your number one. Number two, Lovely Runner. Number three, I hope you're writing this down, Petito. <laughs> number three is The King's Affection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why did I forget about that one? Um, I think that was a good intro. I think that was a great intro to Korean drama. Um, the King's Affection is what got my mom into Korean drama. Um, number four will be... Hmm. <gasps> Crash Landing on You. That's number four. 
I would have said that one would have been number two, but no. That one's number four, and the number five is The Glory. You're welcome. <laughs> Just kidding. If you get that far. They're, they're an hour-long episodes each. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's kind of a lot. A little kind of a lot. Um, but you're fine. Yeah. Crash landing on you is a good one. Yeah. Oh, and if you need, like, a fantasy one... Well, I guess Lovely Runner is kind of fantasy. No, not really. Um, anyways, there's different types, but yeah. You got your cute romance, you know, the drama of it all, the Korean drama. You need that first, and then we can introduce you to some of, like, the crazier ones. Like, the glory. <laughs> there's other ones that are, like, the glory that I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> uh uh, how many do I have? I have 27. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry if that sounded conceited. Squid Game? Um... I guess. But, Tito, you've seen Squid Game, haven't you? I'm trying. Do you need me to give it to you again? Number one, Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Number two, Lovely Runner. Number three, King's Affection. Number four, Crash Landing on You. Number five, The Glory. <laughs> and that is not ranking how I like them. They're all number one to, in my heart. <laughs> They're all so good in each of their own way. <clears throat> E B E. What kind of fish is named E B? E B three. How many do I need? I need two. What are y'all selling for? Stop selling fish that only need two of. So in no particular. No, that's the order you have to watch it in. If you're new to Korean drama. But that's not the order of I how much I like them. I think it's just a good. It's taking you through the journey of Korean dramas, if you've never seen them. It's a good journey. You got the really cute, wholesome one that, that is super popular. It's popular for a reason. Good introduction. It's brand new. And then and then you'll be ready if there's another one that comes out. Um, like a new season. I don't know they do a new season. Anyways, uh, no, they won't. But anyways, that's a good intro, and then you're going to get into the new one, and it's going to amp up the romance, and then you're going to get to the Joseon era one, which that'll be like a, oh, what? What is this? And that's going to be new for you, and you're going to be like, oh, I like this. And then you're going to be able to know, like, what your preference will be. Like, do you prefer, like, modern, or do you prefer Joseon? Because there's a ton of Joseon era ones. And then you're going to be like, okay, okay. And then you're going to get crash landing onto you, which is, like, freaking crazy. And then you'll find out while watching that the actor and actress actually got married in real life. So you can see, like, the chemistry of it all. Like, guys. And then you top it off with the glory, because you're like, ah, oh, if you didn't like the romance, but you got through it all, you're like, okay, I like this, but it's not my cup of tea. And then you see the glory, and then you're going to be like, oh, where have I been my whole life? That's what's going to happen. So... To put it lightly. <laughs> Joseon era. No, it's not spelled like that. <laughs> Wait, you know that. I said the screenshots. Oh, you did. Sorry, Rhea. I didn't have my Discord up. Peacock. What? You ride it? <laughs> what? I thought it was a minion. What? <laughs> the heck? Ah. These are the, ooh, these are concept for cosmic exploration. Pretty. I like it. Interesting. What was this again? Is this like sanctuary? And then what is this? 
Ooh, new ultimate screenshot. Who is that? Why does that guy look familiar? Um, cool. <laughs> I'm watching Haikyuu right now with my partner, but we're close to the end of the last season and want something new to watch. <gasps> you like Haikyuu? Did you see the movie? I saw the movie in theaters. I don't know if the movie is still in theaters. Freaking Haikyuu is amazing. I love Haikyuu. I haven't caught up though. That's act I need to catch up. There's a Nintendo overlay over the game on... Oh, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> Sponsored by Nintendo. Product provided by Nintendo. It's, it's Final Fantasy. Hi, Orca! <laughs> the worlds collide. <laughs> ah... It's the dude from Shadowbringer. Oh, okay. Next ultimate is based on Eden, the Shadowbringers Raid series, right? Got it. We missed the movie. No, it's okay. I don't think you need to see it in movie theaters. To be really honest with you, it was just like an extended episode. <laughs> but it's just cool to experience, you know. I like going to see <clears throat> movies <clears throat> um, in Japanese. So. She's that good of an ambassador. <laughs> wow. What happened to my Fisher? Why is there so... Oh my god. You can tell I haven't played Fisher in a while. Um, Alright. What am I going to do? I'm level 91. I'm almost leveled. Let's go do leaves. Because why not? Where am I? <clears throat> Anyways. What else can I gush about? I haven't been crocheting in a while. I need to go back to crocheting. I just got too addicted to Final Fantasy. <laughs> I haven't been crocheting. How dare me. I want to keep making um, crochet flower bouquets. I was making one for my sister's birthday. My sister's birthday is coming up. I don't think I'm going to have it in time. We'll see. I don't even know if she'll like it though. I I have a history of giving really awesome handcrafted pieces to people that care less. <laughs> and it's unfortunate. Um, I sit back and I think, dang, that sucks. <laughs> I want to give these pieces to people that actually want them. So I think I'm going to stop doing that and ask first. Oh. Oh, I have to go to Urkel Pacha. All right. Where is this? She's addicted. No! <laughs> I went to the local farmer's market, and I kind of I daydreamed a little bit about having a crochet business and opening my little stall in the farmer's market. And not gonna lie, I still kind of wish that could be a thing, but I haven't been able to make stock. <laughs> That's the hardest part. It takes me like a long time just to make one flower. Can you imagine having like a whole stock? Probably take me like years. But I think that would be so cute. I can open a little, little stall in a farmer's market and sell my crochet bouquets. I want to know how much a stall is though. Like there's no... There's no information online. You have to, like, contact them. And I'm like, I wouldn't want to contact them unless I'm serious. But then I want to know ahead of time to even know if that's what I would want to do. Because if it's, like, $1,000 for, like, an hour at the farmer's market, like, what's the point in that? Wait, where is this? Oh, shoot. I went the wrong way. I initiated the wrong one. Oops. I do PJ. I especially with when I did stained glass. I still want to do stained glass. I just don't really have the space for it. Whenever I do, probably won't be until I have a house. But whenever I do, I'm gonna make stained glass again because that was I. I thought I did really good. I was pretty impressed with myself when I did that. Like I made some really cool things. I'm gonna go back to that. 
And those are really good gifts, because they're really pretty. But I just needed I just need space and I need to I need to do it when I need to do it outside. Um, because it's just I need the air needs to be better, and I also need a better mask when I grind the glass down. Right? But anyways. I wanna get back to doing that. To so identify a Final Fantasy camp market stock. <laughs> Uh, you really did. I remember seeing the photos of the glass. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I kind of miss it. It's all at my mom's house right now, so it's not gone. Um, and funny enough, I actually live closer to the place that actually sells, like, stained glass glass. Stained glass glass. Glass for stained glass. I don't know. It's like it's 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 my personality to pick up a hobby, get like really invested in it, want to change my entire make my entire life be around based on it and then give up after like a couple weeks. <laughs> it's like my personality to a T. Unfortunate, but that's me. I always do that. <clears throat> Thanks, Adam. Could make a routine around it. What do you mean routine? Same. <laughs> I do that all the time. I like think of like these fantasy like daydreams of like, oh, I'm gonna, uh, I can't even say, I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna quit my job and be a stained glass artist. No, <laughs> it's not the same, but it's like that, you know? Where you daydream about doing something different. Um. <laughs> I would never, but I do like the idea of doing more stained glass specifically for fun gifts. I don't think I'd ever sell them. Like, ain't no way. No way. Okay, is this the one? No, is this the one? Am I in the right? No. I was going to do it again. Here we go. <sighs> I think it was during COVID I started doing the stained glass because I wanted a hobby. I wanted something unique. I feel like that was pretty unique. Oh darn, I should have done that one. <laughs> Literally the same. I'm gonna be so successful at this thing that I'll never do. I'm gonna buy a ton of crochet yarn and not touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. I'll get it. I want to make sunflowers. I want to make a crochet bouquet a filled with Breath of the Wild flowers, and I want to make a crochet bouquet filled with Stardew Valley flowers. That's what I want to do. I just have to find time to actually do it and not get lazy. In lockdown, I was like, I'm gonna learn to crochet and make my own clothes. I barely learned to change. <laughs> No, Megzi. No. We both need to find motivation to get back into our hobbies. Oh man, if only someone had a birthday coming up soon that would love a personalized gift. Tito. <laughs> Solution, you've just got to watch more TV and sit on the couch more. Yeah, I got to Yeah, you're right, Adam. I need to be a couch potato. But then I thought it was a genius idea to join a static. And then I got obsessed with this. Well, not the static, but just obsessed with the idea of clearing M2S this week. So then I, <laughs> I had so much time to do more stuff and fill my days because Tom's been gone. And then look at, look at it. I ended up playing Final Fantasy, which is fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. But it is a problem because I want to crochet too. Can I play Final Fantasy XIV and crochet? Yes. I just need macros for my crafters. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. Join the static and then pugged every other fight? <laughs> no, they were in the pug fight too. At least four of them every single time. So it's basically like we were hardcore. I <laughs> felt like it. I was like, oh my god, the hours I have spent 
basically like hardcore. But what is it hardcore if you don't pass? <laughs> I don't know. Crochet with my feet? That would be interesting. I don't think that'd be a possibility for me. But interesting um, idea. <laughs> did you go in into it? I did. I don't want to talk about it. But I did. Gotta learn how to crochet with your feet. Oh my god, y'all said the same thing. Then boom, that's a whole extra revenue source. <laughs> no. So, I don't know, Adam, did you see my salary transparency video? I need to do, I need to have like a new um, category. Um, feet crochet. <laughs> Zero dollars. But I'll work on it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jessica knits everywhere, meetings, walking. She can walk and knit? That's talent. <gasps> that would be great. Get my steps in and crochet. Crochet stepping. Oh, genius. I need to get good at being able to do both though, walk and crochet. I feel like I have to, I concentrate so much on my stitch and remembering the number. You just gotta time it with your step, maybe. I have no GP. Got the clear? No. No. Close. Every time. But no. We're so close. I believe in us. But I think we're, I think a lot of us are burnout. Not burnout. A lot of us are discouraged. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it would actually be your eyes <laughs> income source. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god imagine if you like create like i don't know this is i don't know maybe like make a facebook group when you call it that where we all walk together <laughs> hot girl walks nah we don't do that anymore <laughs> we do that i'm not gonna say it but that's freaking hilarious um, and then you just name the group that. Oh my god! A lot of people would be so confused. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. I'm gonna pop a potion. There you go. <laughs> funny. <sighs> Aw, Specky, that's sweet. What did you get her? Tom's sister invited me to the family online photo album. Um, just showing videos. It's just a photo album of just her daughter. Um, so Tom's niece. And I swear it's like the thing I look forward to every day because she uploads a photo almost every day or a video. It's so cute. Freaking love it. <laughs> yeah, it does that to someone. I know, it can get discouraged pretty easily. Adam, quick, copyright these ideas. Big money makers. <laughs> it is hot girl summer. Hot girl summer. It's too hot. Brat girl summer. Yeah, that's the word that's been going around a lot, is brat. Why is that? What is going on? I would not surprise me if that was already a group name. <laughs> it probably is. How do you look for groups on Facebook? I don't know how to do that anymore. I want to find a friend group that does this stuff. Can I find a friend group? Her over 30, don't have kids yet, or don't want to have kids, 
and crochet and just do random hobbies and like watching Korean drama and anime. Can I find those people? Cause man, that would be great. I can find y'all online. We all live in Timbuktu, man. That's frustrating. Come on, Texans. Where are y'all? Where are the girls at? Or guys. Still. I don't have Facebook anymore. I recently joined Facebook again. Um, I had to remember my password uh, just to get on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Found a really good deal. $40 table and four chairs. Crazy. Crazy good. Considering we didn't have a dining room table for like a year and a half. Though I have to admit, the table is like super small, but it'd be better than nothing. It was 40 about 40 bucks. I was like, mm. not bad. I made a similar joke with my job that only works here because it's port because it's in Portuguese. Heh! <laughs> If you come to Norway, man, it would be nice to visit Norway. I need to get different ideas for vacation. Because my mom's like, Kylie, we should go on vacation. I'm like, where are we going to go? She's like, we can go to the beach and do a cruise. I'm like, mom, those are not bad ideas. But that's like what we've done like the entirety of our life. Like, I want to do something else. <sighs> go to Norway. Probably be able to find something through Ravelry? What's that? Ravelry? What is that? Never heard of that. Pass out flyers? You know, there is a bulletin board in like our little mailbox area looking for a friend. Promise I'm not desperate. Just want to meet new people. Must like anime, Korean drama, gaming. Or maybe not must like preference somebody that likes korean drama anime gaming crocheting random hobbies swimming skincare i don't know <laughs> uh i would look desperate though if i did that Nobody would answer. You know what? Who knows? Maybe I could put it up. Must live in this apartment complex. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't normally go on Facebook either, but I feel like it's the way to connect with people now. Like, I haven't been able to do it on any other social media platform. Come on, I want to get to level 93 so I can get those notes. Ooh, I have level 92 ones now. It's the place for knitters and crocheters. Is it like, what is it? What is it like? Ravelry? Is it just posting like your patterns or? Oh, it's a community site. Organ oh. Oh wait, I have been on here. Cat did link this to me. How do you make friends on this? Community? Oh, there's forms. Whoa, forms. Whoa. Teen crochets prom dress in three days. Are you kidding me? Can't even crochet flower in one day. The heck? <gasps> Favorite musician in Norway? Will you go with her? Sure. <laughs> what's the what's the musician in Norway? <laughs> Must have over two thousand followers on Instagram. No. I would never say that. That would be cool to all like make content together. Oh, that's kind of cute. And like take photos together. Cause I know how to, I know it would look good. I would know it would look good. 
But I wouldn't want our basis of our relationship being around that. Um, it could be something you find out later. Like, oh, you're an influencer? Or do you want to be? Okay, let's work on it. Together. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, also, must have a car. <laughs> That's another requirement. Uh, Suzanne Sunfor is the artist. I don't know if I said that right. I don't know how to pronounce the uh, no sign. My partner's been wanting to get back into crocheting since I just finished moving in. <gasps> they crochet too? What kind of stuff do they cro crochet? Or is it like getting n into it kind of crochet? Stop, heck! <laughs> oh. The peep, the looks that that post would get. <laughs> I'm a swim coach for. I am a swim coach for a living. Does that count as liking swimming? Yeah. I just say swimming, cause then, cause that means like, or maybe I should just say chilling by the pool or pool. Must like pool. <laughs> I have purse. Yeah, how do you pronounce the O with a slash in it? Specky. <laughs> yeah, exactly, hack. I don't think I would want that at all. About the pet store. What? No. Wait, where's the pet? Oh, wait. Pet store girl. Oh, wait, hold on. Someone that does programs. Saying the other day, the pet store asked me what I did for work, and I said that, and she looked at me like, huh? I just burst out laughing. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Wait, where's this? Oh, it's up here. I have pool. <laughs> yeah. I have hat on head. I have pool. Makes me think of how my grandma and all her grandma friends went to see Spice World. Can you imagine? Wait, your grandma, me and my friend were like obsessed with the Spice Girls when they were huge. That's not grandma. Well, maybe grandma's liked it too, but... Wow, they saw Spice World back in the day because they thought it would be a wait, wait, a cooking movie. Oh, I read, I didn't finish reading. <laughs> oh no, no! <laughs> wait, that's funny. No, me and my friend were obsessed with spice girls we had spice girl merch we watched that movie we had it on vhs we watched we watched that so many times when was that though what year was that what year was that what year were they really popular um how old was i a in bad ah uh, ad so it's Suzanne Sunfar. 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 Did I say it? <laughs> Was it in the 90s? Around the 2000s. Okay, so I was like 10. That makes sense. 9, 10. Man, 9, 10 year old with Spice Girls, what? I kind of want to, would it be considered vintage? <laughs> I want a vintage Spice Girl shirt. That's what I want. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be vintage. I just want a Spice Girl shirt. Do they sell them anymore? S Club. What's the S Club? 
Movie was in 1997. Did I watch it when it came out? Or was it a couple years after when we realized that it was a thing? I don't remember. I can't even think of the songs now. What's my favorite Spice Girl song? I was obsessed with Baby Spice. My friend was obsessed with Ginger Spice. And my other friend was obsessed with Posh Spice. We always did that. Like, your friend group, you're always like, I'm this one. Just like Sailor Moon. I was Sailor Venus. My hair was blonde and long, so... That's why. <laughs> my friend's hair was auburn and brown. Um, so she was obsessed <laughs> with... She was obsessed with Sailor Jupiter. Nobody could be Sailor Moon, because that's not fair. <laughs> My sister was Sailor Mini Moon, because she was the youngest. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if y'all did that when y'all were younger. Sounds like a common occurrence, though. What am I doing? Emma Bunton. Was that Spi Baby Spice's name? <laughs> you know, was it about cooking? They loved it. All old ladies became fans too. I love that. They're like, well, it's kind of like going in without seeing the movie trailer. <laughs> You're expecting one thing and it's something totally else. It was a good movie for back then, I think. It was hype, you know? It's hype. Exciting. Oh, yeah, I can see grandma's enjoying it. That's good that they did though. They all know the songs by the time they come out. <laughs> I saw a post the other day that was just like the bands you used to listen to are all over 20 years old now. Evanescence, Linkin Park, Papa Roach. Oh no. Yeah, I always had to be the blue Power Ranger because I had glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you're on a plane and you're watching Twitch? That's awesome. Can you imagine having good enough internet to be able to do that? Nice. Sa Sailor Jupiter because tall? Yeah! Oh yeah, she was really tall. She was the tallest. My other friend was Sailor Mars. And then my other friend, she had the same haircut as um, Sailor Uranus and same hair color. So, but she was like, I don't want to be Sailor Uranus. <laughs> She's like, I didn't like the sound of it. Sailor Uranus. <laughs> oh, no. Um. <laughs> Just girls being girls. If I were girl, I'd be... A Mercury, a Sailor Mercury is sweet. Classic kid stuff. You can't be. She's like, I want to, what did she, she was like, I want to be Sailor Mars. And we're like, you can't, you don't have black hair. <laughs> Why were we so stupid and mean? Like, it didn't matter. <sighs> wants to rewatch it. Maybe, maybe like, not the new one, the old one. Apparently there was like a rema remake, rema, remast, no, remake of Sailor Moon. And I think they made it more about the manga than, because the original, I don't know what the original one did. I don't know too much about it. I just remember watching a lot of it as a child. And we always just wanted to see Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask have a scene. Like, that's the whole reason why we were still watching it. We didn't care about power and the love of friendship. We wanted romance. That's why we watched it. They had a lot of romance scenes in the movies. We were obsessed with those. Same with Inuyasha. When me and my friend got into Inuyasha, all we wanted to see was Inuyasha and Kagome. 
And every time we saw Kikio, we we're like cursing her under our breath. We're like, we hate this. Screw you, Kikio. Stop getting in the way of Kagome. <laughs> they look nothing alike. <laughs> Dumb. There's a new one, right? Uh, for what, Sailor Moon or? Oh yeah, Crystal. Yes, I did rewatch all 200 episodes a few years ago. We did Crystal as it came out. Yes, I was trying to do Crystal as it came out, but there was something about it that I just, I couldn't. I don't know, I just couldn't do it. I think it was because there was 200 episodes, but no, I think they didn't release all 200 episodes at once, did they? No. Crystal is much more aligned with the manga. Some scenes even borrow panels right out of the manga. Wow, okay, yeah, I really need to rewatch it. Oh, you mean the Inuyasha one with her kids? Yeah, I tried watching it and I, I didn't like it. The thing is, it's just what brought Inuyasha to, what I liked in, about Inuyasha was the romance. I don't want to see their kids. I want to see Inuyasha and Kagome. I don't even know if they show up in the anime. Do they show up in the anime? If they do, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll struggle through it and watch it just so I can see that one cutscene. <laughs> Yeah, kids, 16 and 13. I remember from what I remember. I remember from that show. I strangely found the scenes between Sango and Moroku funny. That was younger me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Looking at it now, I was like, eh. Or I well now I'm like, eh. Back then, I guess I just passed it off. <laughs> 90s anime. <clears throat> Hi, Matt. Good afternoon. Was waiting to rewatch before watching the new stuff. I see. She doesn't want to see the product of their romance, just the romance itself. I just want to see the family unit, okay? I want to see the family unit together, all right? I want to see Kagome old but happy. That's what I want. Like, I don't want to see... I mean, it's cute to see all their kids together, right? Whose kids is it again? It's Inuyasha Gagome's, Shishomaru's... Um, that was a weird thing. Who did he end up marrying? That little girl? Um, weird. And then, uh, who's the other? There's three kids. I can't remember the other one. Is it Sango and Moroku's kid? No. I can't remember it. What's the, who's the third one? What is it called? Yasha Shimi Shimi? Yasa Hime, I think? Yeah. Who? Who? This is this. So, this is Shishomaru's kid, Kagome Inuyasha's kid, and I'm guessing that is Sango and Moroku's kid. Never mind. Okay. Anyways. You've never seen Inuyasha? It's a long, oh spoilers, it's the anime! Uh, what? Sorry, I guess that would be a spoiler. My bad. If you watched it, it's okay. You wanna know the happy ending. <laughs> At least I would've wanted to. I'd be like, oh my God, they have kids together. I gotta watch it. <laughs> oh my God, I keep failing. What is this? How many am I at? 207? Uh, okay. You'll get around to it. I mean, there's a lot of episodes. Get ready for the, um, mini episodes of, like, nothing happening. Kind of like One Piece. They, like, move one step. And then it's like, all right, time for the next episode. And let's repeat everything that happened at the beginning. 
and then have like one little thing happen. <laughs> There's a lot of those episodes. Unfortunate. I know, I'm sorry. Wait, but I was showing off the anime. Uh, it's okay, my bad. Gotta get better, gotta be making mistakes still. Gotta get better. Should I just get this one? No, go big or go home, right? One Piece, Bleach, Naruto. Yeah, they all kind of fit that style. You know, there's an anime that's older now that I really like and I want to see more of. They're the, um, like, mystery animes. Uh, what was it called? Erased. That one was really good. I want to watch an anime like that. And that was like a 13, I think it's only 13 episode and done. Like that was a good anime. How many episodes was in that? Erase, I think it was called Erased. Erased anime? Yeah, it's a thriller. It was back in 2016. Oh, it's, oh. Yeah, it's, oh, 12 episodes. It was like a 12 episode anime, and that was like, so good. Yeah, y'all remember a race? Oh my god, that was a really good anime. If y'all haven't seen that, oh, I'm jealous. You should watch it. You know what, I probably forgot enough about it. I should probably go back and rewatch it. Ugh, oh, love my brain. Um, but yeah. That was a good one. I want, I want more of those. They're probably, they probably exist, I probably just don't know about them. Was that anyone else part of the Save, uh, Savior Sailors campaign back in the 90s campaign to get beyond the first two seasons of Sailor Moon brought to the US? No, what is that? Tell me more. Wow, all of y'all saw a race. Yeah, y'all know it made a really big impact. It was really good. I'm done. Tuli Oro. Code Geass is back with a new series. What? Really? Uh, wow, I can't remember the last time I've seen Code Geass. I would be down re-watching that one. That was good. <laughs> I've been watching, I love the girl with the pink hair. I think that's another reason why I watch, because I just wanted to see romance. <laughs> it's just a, oh, it's like a common theme. <laughs> to have romance, I'm gonna watch it. Oh no. I've been watching every anime adaption of Key VN. What is that? That's been a trip. Have I watched your lie in April? Yes. And you want to know my biggest secret? I didn't think it was sad. Oh my god, I have no emotion. I'll explain in the best way. No, I won't. Wait, did I turn all of them in and I just blanked? Okay, I did turn them in. Um, oh, I'm level 93 now. I know! What the heck? You guys know how sad I can get. I didn't get sad. I know that's horrible. But when, when they build it up like that, I just know what's going to happen. And then it happened, and I'm like, oh, well, there you go. Like, I, it wasn't any, it wasn't a shock. I guess I need a shock factor. I don't know, maybe not, but yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't have any feelings. I'm a robot. I know. Shame on me. Ooh, there's one available. Oh, wait, no, that's level 100. I'm looking at this. I can't get that, right? It's level 100. I'm 93. Ugh. I have to wait. I know, oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, Violet Evergarden, no, that one made me cry. 
That one I actually had to stop. Sorry, we're doing spoilers, my bad. No, 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 to be fair, that's not spoiling it. You gotta watch it. You're gonna wanna watch it. No, I had to stop. I had, I stopped watching it after like the fourth or fifth episode. Cause I couldn't handle it emotionally. And I was like, I can't do this. I can't do it. Oh, Save Our Sailors was a signature and mail-in campaign from fans <gasps> in the U.S. to essentially beg DIC to continue the work of translating and dubbing Sailor Moon S and Super S, and it actually worked. I remember watching Sailor Moon S and Super S. Oh my god. I know I did not know about that campaign, though. I didn't know. Kogias has the original series, and then the movies are uh, its own continuity. With the new ending. What? Kylie has the emotional range of a teaspoon. No, I don't. I, I feel big when, when I feel big, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. It just didn't get me. <laughs> Violet Evergarden did, though. Um... Oh, I see, Debbie. When she feels, she feels big. Yeah. And it just depends. To be fair, you solved that <laughs> Chronicles 3. Yeah. I solved an Endwalker. I solved a King, uh, a King of Hearts. Uh, maybe. I, I solved it Final Fantasy 10. Seven. Every game. <laughs> Every game that has a story. Um. He asked it three movies as a sort of remake plus new ending, and the currently airing series follows the movies. So I'd have to watch the original and the movies and the new one. How would I do that? At Crisis Core. Um, yeah, is there any other anime like a race that have come out and I just may not have known about it? I want to, I feel like, I, I feel like I'm in the mood to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Are y'all looking it up? No, y'all, I'm not. I'm gonna look it up. Erase. How, what do you say? Anime that is similar to Erase. Steins Gate? Re Zero. I liked Re Zero for a while, and then I was just like, eh. The girl who lived through time, yeah, I, yeah. Orange? Your name? No, what? This is a movie. Steins Gate was good. It's wonderful. I haven't seen it, and it's good. What is it? Let me look it up. Steins Gate. All right, all right, all right. What makes it similar though? A group of friends create a machine that can send messages to the past and alter their present timeline. Cool. All right. It's a slow build up at the beginning, but it's got super good later on. Would y'all say that's true about Steins Gate? Cat cosplayed one of the characters at anime convention once for Steinsgate. It's really good. Okay, okay, I'll have to watch it. I haven't seen it. Well, I guess Death Note could be kind of similar to a race, kind of. I kind of really want to watch Death Note again. It's been so long since I've seen that one. That one's a classic one. That was good. 
It needs it needs a few episodes to see where it's going. Okay. So give it a couple episodes. All right. Fair enough. I think it's always better if I know that at the beginning. I feel like that's better if I know that at the beginning. Because then I'll be like, all right, just got to play the long game. Yeah. Got it. I don't know what else to do. I hate doing these. What else can I do today? I need more aesthetic. I just, I just got the voice acted animated version of the VN on Switch. Super stoked for it. V VN? What's the VN? We gonna watch Death Note, the live action movie? No. <laughs> oh, visual novel. Cool. Wait, you got the voice acted animated version of the visual novel on the Switch? What? How? How? That's a... What? How do you have that? That's a thing? <laughs> oh, he's talking about family... Oh, she's talking about Famicom. They use clips from the anime for it. What? The Japanese live action Death Notes are actually decent. The English one sucks. But the Japanese one? How do you watch the Japanese live action one? Uh, does anybody want to do a roulette? I need um some aesthetics. Where's my... I always forget. This <laughs> I have 96 right now. I need more. Anybody want to do an expert dungeon with me? Dang it. Why did the expert dungeon not give me Nova Clusters? How dare you? Hi, Matthew. I'm still in just chatting. Oh my god. Well, I have just been chatting, so <laughs> thank you for letting me know. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I've been in that. Well, to be honest, it doesn't really matter what category you're in, but thank you for letting me know. I changed it. <laughs> Sorry. Whoopsies. I can come if you're doing expert. Yeah, I'm doing expert. When it comes, anybody else? <laughs> just we have been, just been chatting. I would say we've been chat. We've been yapping more than um, playing the game. <laughs> Anybody else want to come? Tommy, Adam, uh, uh, FN, um, uh, Cat. Uh, who else is online? Todd's busy. What is Todd doing? Final <laughs> Fantasy was just background music. <laughs> Oh, it's work. Oh, God, it's Monday. Right. I've been getting my day switched up. <sighs> I'm waiting for 12. I'm kind of just, just doing random stuff this morning. I'm waiting for the real action to happen at 12. Fields of Mystria comes out. Okay. All right, Rhea, we're going to go in. We're going to do this. It's probably the last thing I'm going to be able to do today. Or in Final Fantasy for right now. Let's do this. <sighs> Stein's Gate. I need to remember that. Stein's Gate. Wait, where's the fourth person? What is this? Oh. Ooh, shoot. I can't remember the bosses for this fight. <sighs> oh my god, that one's good! 
Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Wait, I really like that. I want to make mine look like that. I could just be assuming. Wait, I bet there's really good chance Thomas seen Steins Gate. Maybe. To be honest, I don't really know all the anime he's seen. We've been so. We've been just. Well, I haven't done it in a while, but we've been watching Conan, like, religiously. So much so that we're, like, on the 200... No, we're on, like, episode 300 now. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up, but... Uh, maybe I should... Maybe we should take a break and we should watch Steins Gate. But, yeah, I wonder if you've seen it. I told him about the dream I had, about how... I had a quote nightmare <laughs> about having four babies like I was gonna have four babies in my dream and I was freaking out <laughs> and he's like were they cute <laughs> and I was like I think so <laughs> and he's like oh good <laughs> I'm like oh okay <laughs> what did he say he said he's talking to me in Japanese I, w I think this was when I was like asleep. I was half awake, half asleep because the fire alarm went out and I checked my phone and I saw him answer. What did he say? Maybe I was dreaming that. Oh yeah, he goes, four babies? How were they? And then he said, kawaii amare, uh, oh crap, I can't read. I can't read hiragana, what's wrong with me? He said something. Ka kawaii. Ah, uh, ma. Oh, amane chan. Oh, he's saying that his niece is so cute. It makes him want a baby more. That's what he said to me. And I'm like, oh boy. Because <laughs> he's see, he sees his niece like every day. <laughs> I do too. Because I see all the photos that his sister sends. <laughs> That's what he said to me. I was like, oh boy. I'm not ready for a kid yet, but four babies? Absolutely not. I guess that could happen. That happens. Does that happen often if if you're on like fertility things, right? The chances of you having like twins or something is higher or something. It's the best response. Six? No. Three? <laughs> no. Multiples are more likely with fertility treatment. Is that like a common, is that like common to do now a days? I don't know. I'm not trying, but what is that common? Is that a common thing now? I've heard, the thing is I hear so much about it on TikTok, so I don't know what's reality. I shouldn't make TikTok be a reality check, but I sometimes I wonder. Could just be my algorithm. Oh god. I forgot this fight. I don't know this fight. Rhea, I'm gonna die. Revive me eventually. <laughs> just letting you know early. I can't remember. Wasn't this fight the hardest? First flights are always the most annoying. Oh, shoot. I'm also reading chat, so... I'm not do- Oh, God, what is this? Oh, X's and O's, right. Okay, tic-tac-toe, right, 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 right. Oh, I remember. I remember, I'm a liar. I remember. Oh god. All the people you saw on TLC shows and stuff have uh having octop octo oct oh my god, how why, Kylie? Octoplet octoplet? What the heck? Am I having a seizure? Why can't I say that word? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, Why can I say it? I blame Final Fantasy. I'm getting distracted. That's why. Ah! A 
Okay. Octoplets. There we go. Or whatever was because of fertility treatments. Right! Like the, what was her name? The Kate plus eight. I remember that show. Wonder where they are now. <gasps> Fields of Mystery is live? <gasps> what? They're 10 minutes early! Okay, I'll have to finish this dungeon and then I can download it. Yay! Also, this is interesting. My sister messaged me last night and she's like, Do you want to do an escape room? What? Yeah? Of course. I was like, have you done an escape room before? Ow. Yeah, uh, yeah. She wants to do, I think, a clue-themed one. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, John and Kate plus eight. Therapy, I hope. <laughs> we did it. You are my people, and I will protect uh, spoilers, you. by the way. A little, little bit, a little bit. Little. Just abandon the duty. No. I lay to rest. How do you? How do you have eight kids at once? How do you do that? How do you, do they like just push on your belly to like get them in order and like line them up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> can you imagine? <clears throat> just gotta go, huh, <laughs> and one pops out. <laughs> I had a dream about an escape room last night. Oh, <gasps> you're, it's a, it's, you're seeing the future. My future. You gotta write it down. Wait, do you write down your dreams? It's like doing CPR. Yeah, I don't know. You have to have, like, a really awesome big family if you're going to have that many kids. Like, I hope, I hope the people that had that had the support they needed because, what? That's hard. One is hard. Can you imagine eight? That's crazy. That's crazy. Twins would be cool, though. Yeah. Is, is anybody here a twin? I wonder what twin twin life is like. What is that like? What was your experience like growing up if you were a twin? Jess is a twin? What was her experience like? I mean, that's so broad of an answer. But, like, I, always, I wonder. I don't know any twins. I mean, I guess I know Jess, but like in real life, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know anybody that was a twin. You and your sister aren't twins. <laughs> no. She is the opposite of me, though. <laughs> and that coffee is gonna make me crash. I can feel it. Oh, this way. Everyone's always asking what your twin's doing right now. Oh, really? Is that like the biggest question you get? <laughs> Interesting. Why do they want to know? They don't care about you? <laughs> you care what they're doing, but not me. How do you celebrate birthdays? Did y'all ever like split it up or did you always have the same birthday and always had to share the same stuff? How is it? How? I'm curious. Obviously when you get older you probably did your own thing, but what about younger? One of them can forever gloat about being older. True. I did see a lot of TikToks about how 
a lot of the parents didn't tell the the twins who was older until like their 18th birthday. What the? Oops. Ow. I don't remember this fight. Maybe this is the harder fight. People mistook me and my sibling for twins because my mom dressed us the same. Oh, that's cute. My mom would dress us the same too. But me and my sister are four years apart, so it was, it was obvious that she was not my twin when I was younger. Um, what side? How do I know what side is gonna hit? Oh, I see. Never mind. I'm a liar. <laughs> it's the triangle. I forgot. They always have the same set of kids, mostly out of necessity. Mm, okay. That makes sense. You'd think there would be a few twins. Oh yeah, out in the world where one was born at like 11.59 and the other one 12.01, so they both, then they have two. The birthdays are in different days. Interesting. Interesting, yeah, that's gotta, that's gotta be a thing, like, Someone in this world, that must have happened. Surely, with the billions of people, right? Jess is definitely the first child. Jen is the second. Oh. Jen is the second. They were stereotyp- they, they have stereotypical behaviors. She's a rebel. Oh, really? <laughs> Me and my siblings are almost exactly two years apart. Probably a good thing our birthdays were so close. We would have killed each other. <laughs> oh, weren't close. <laughs> um, I don't need this stuff. How many siblings do you have, Megzi? <gasps> <gasps> what if one was born 1159 February 28th and the other 1201 February 29th? They wouldn't have a birthday. Like, sorry, no birthday for you this year. <laughs> that is curious. Like, did you get to choose if you were born on February 29th? Do you get, did you get to choose? Do you get, what did you do? growing up. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I don't know. It kinda is. You're like, man, my birthday's not here. I don't like, I don't like this. Here, there we go. I like it now. Should've done that earlier. Five years apart, my uncle was her fifth birthday present. <laughs> You're a fine dude. <laughs> Could anybody really share anything with a sibling? Could they? It was always hard. <laughs> Even for me and my sister. I was like, no! Uh, typical Taurus sibling. I think mo technically they were born before you. Being born. Oh, hold on. I don't want to. Oh, God. Hold that thought. <laughs> I'm gonna get the tank killed if I don't pay attention. <laughs> uh. Ow. For 
freaking butthole did so much damage. I'm going to lunch. I'll see you all this afternoon. I'll see you later, Adam. We're going to be playing farming games in the afternoon. Woo! Farming game, I guess you should say. 90s Stardew Valley. <laughs> How do you make that sound? You know what super impresses the people that can beatbox and they make like really crazy sounds with their voice? I love that. Later, Adam. Me and my sister were able to share, and then teenagers happened, and now we can't. Oh. Oh, and then now we can again. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, now is fine. <laughs> Name a dog after me. A dog? Oh my god. They do. This is not forgiving, is it? I have to go out after this, right? Oh, yeah. Ow. 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 Oh my god, I almost died. Hold on. Oh no. Goodness gracious. Sorry, Rhea. I literally could not. I saw your HP was low. I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best. What is this? What is this? We have to focus on one. Which one are we focusing on? This one? Okay. Wait, do we have to focus on all of them? I don't know if this is necessary, but... influenced me. <laughs> I'm on it! Ah! Why does it have to shake so much? Stop that. Okay. Get your wallets ready. It might be on sale for the first week. It usually does that. So we'll see. I'll check after this. Oop. <laughs> oh god. Always so late. <laughs> I'm always so late with that. Hold on, let me heal Rhea. There you go, Rhea. You won't die now. That's my bad. Oh god. Oh, wait. Hey, what the heck? This is like, uh, 4 9. Oh god. Four, or wait, not 4 9. What? M4. <laughs> is there anything else I need to do before next week? I did normal to get the weapon. Hmm. Or weapon pieces. I wonder if there's anything else. It's not on sale as... Uh, wait, it's... Wait, what? Oh, this is early access. Yes, early access. Hold on. I'll, hold on. Let me... I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. Get me. Yay! Okay. Um, it's not on sale as it's early access, but it's likely cheaper before it hits 1.0 release since it's $14. Also, the game is only 246 megabytes. Early access games often go up in price once they exit early access. Gotcha. Awesome. I love that guy's thing. I want mine to change. Thank you. 
Thanks, Rhea, for joining. Ooh, there we go. 